Just because you've arranged your data in a certain way doesn't mean that you're stuck with it. Let's say that you want to make a copy of this data in column D and have it appear in a new column between columns B and C. First, click the column heading for column D. This selects all data in the column. Now click Edit, then Copy, and you can see the marquee again which indicates that the selection is copied. Now hold down Control and then click on the heading for column C, or you can right-click if your mouse has that option. And then click Insert Copied Cells. Everything shifts to the right and you have a copy of the cells. Now click in cell C1, type Northwest Region, and then press Return. To resize the column width to fit the text, point to this border between the column headings, and then double-click. To resize the column to any width, instead of double-clicking, click and drag the border. If you want the text to wrap to the width of the column, select the cell or the entire column. Then here on the Home tab, click Wrap Text. If you ever see these pound signs in the cell, it means that the column is not wide enough to display the data. Also, keep in mind that you can select and insert rows in the same way you do columns. In the next lesson, we'll finish up by saving the workbook to a new folder.